Today's episode of Sklarbro Country is sponsored by Bonobos. Bonobos is, of course, an online menswear store that is offering a very special deal to our listeners. New customers get 20% off your purchase with the code SKLAR or Henderson. It's simple, Randy. What is Bonobos? They're better fitting men's clothes. I love these guys. I love everything on We've got side. their clothes. I own their clothes. All right, go check it out. Pick something up. And now listen to this. trying to figure these guys out, man, and I love them. They are the Buffalo Killers. Uh, it's from their album, Let It Ride. Uh, the name of the song is Get Together Now Today. They're like more commands in that thing than I can Get even. together and do, do it, it now, now and, and do, do it today. Not just the what now institute. Would that constitute today? Ask Ian Roberts, our, our lovely guest on Sklarbro Country. Today. Ian, welcome to Sklarbro Country, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And yes, now always connotes today. Thank you. It, that's always. it. <laughs> now <laughs> connotes today. That might be the name of this episode. Now but, connotes yeah. today. Uh, this is ep- this is episode 112 of Sklarbro Country. It uh, is. It's dropping today, and tonight we will be at the uh, waiting. waiting room, the waiting room lounge in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm very excited. Yes, we've never played Omaha, Omaha Nebraska. Before. has this very cool rock club there, Ian, and we are going to perform there tonight, so it's kind of an outside-the-box venue, and so we'll be there tonight, then two shows tomorrow night in Columbus. Good. Come on out to that. Please. And then we're going to Cleveland at a great club called Hilarities. We'll be there Sunday night. But before that, we get to throw out the first pitch at the Indians Tigers game, which I've been, wor- we've been working with our buddy Gar Rhinus. We've been throwing it's all guy. week. We were throwing, and I think I pulled something in my back. Because oh, I don't know. You, when was the last time you threw a baseball? Oh my god, I, I honestly can't remember. You can't remember. It's been it's been a while since we really threw it. Yeah. I just remember like so now we're like stuck. Oh, God, so I just my greatest fear is throwing it straight down to the ground. I, oh yeah, to me that's a nightmare if anyone ever asked asked you, you to do it. Do you have to do it from the mound? I, I want it. I want to do it from the rubber. I want to step on the old bump oh, and man, do I it. Would, I would get halfway. Yeah, <laughs> and then I would then I would throw it underhand. Of course, I am gonna try and throw it Kent to Colby sidearm sidearm Dan Quisenberry kind of like that little sidewinder submarine style. I think that would be really cool. Who, have you ever seen that? done have you ever seen like I've never seen a first pitch like that I think it's going to be very uh and also maybe I'll even do a Byun Yun Kim and snap my head around like the ball's been hit out of the park do that as, do as that? the president you must have to take lessons from like, well they've had to do it coach that's right I mean Obama like it feels like all the bushes like Bush like, like probably throws the ball. Baseball, Bush, right? like George Bush probably threw the ball around like for an hour or two, like on 9/11. Like he's the guy who kind of keeps always getting his arm fresh, keeping it ready. I feel like Obama hadn't thrown a baseball in years when we saw him do it. Oh, did it look rough? It looked a little rough, and he was wearing mom jeans. He and had so, the jeans were way high. Was it was like, it was yeah. a bad moment for the man. Maybe it was a calculated move. I Maybe like the mom jeans said, "Don't expect too much about this." Next I bet party. you if you had a 90 year old, uh, like a 90 mile an hour uh, fastball, you could guarantee reelection. <laughs> yes, <laughs> 90 miles. Well, you know that clip would be showed over and over. Yeah, and over like, again. and and he just, and maybe he actually threw it and, and he struck out a batter. That would do it. <laughs> that would be <laughs> so true. Like he's not a good player, like an <laughs> aging guy who's like Todd Helton, someone who hasn't been around. Todd around. Helton, by the way, I love Todd Helton. Stuff. But if he struck him out, that would be definite re-election material. What Maybe. if they had that? We could go like a, they invite you to boxing and you took the first punch and threw the first punch in a fight. <laughs> that would be the great. What are you doing tonight? I'm throwing the first punch at the Mayweather fight tonight. You're throwing the first yes. punch. That's such an honor. <laughs> <laughs> who's taking the first punch? Well, that'd be the word yeah <laughs> you're you like, have to both throw and take the first punch. and oh, what if you had Coulter is taking the first she's taking the first punch. no it'd be funny if you had to take like eight punches before you could throw oh, first <laughs> so i'm on my seventh one and they punch a little card like at the coffee shop <laughs> it's like the uh, pink berry card it <laughs> is and the eighth one is free uh i love it well we've got uh, a great show today tons of great stuff ian is on he's going to join us we'll talk to him about the early days of ucb we'll talk about what he's doing now uh and just our connection with him he was on he, he's been on everything that we've done on our first apartment 2F pilot. He was yes. on that. He did a very memorable character on uh, Cheap Seats, The Grammar Hammer, which was so much Someone fun. just referenced that the other day. They referenced the hashtag gerund, which was really unbelievable. Yes. Uh, and uh, he's just the guy who, in our opinion, one of our favorite people in the world of comedy, and uh, just so happy that he's here. So we'll get into that with him. we got great stories. Should we get into them, Jay? Yeah, let's get into the stories. 
All right. Apparently, you don't need a resume to work at a school in Olympia, Illinois. Have you ever been to Olympia, Illinois? No. no. It's kind of like, I believe it's south of Chicago. Nor, nor do you need a background check to be the girls' basketball coach or the guidance counselor. So if you're unqualified, head to central Illinois, and you can just do it all. Oh, wait. No, no. You have to have written a sexually graphic novel. Sexually graphic novel. That's going to make sure that you can secure a position at Rich Central High School. I can't. I, here's the thing. I can imagine. It, it's called Rich yeah, Central High School. I can imagine a shop teacher writing a sexually. Right? Did you have to take shop? I uh, did not have to take shop. But, but you, you, you did it electively. No, I took uh, art class was my way of having a non-academic class. Right. Smart. I had to take home ec. I could see the typing teacher, Mr. Holleran. Yeah, that dude was a little weird. He was a little buttoned up, and I felt like he really enjoyed punishing, like, really enjoyed punishing kids. I could see him writing, like, a sexually explicit, like, S&M book. Shades but, of Grey. Is right. Shades of, have you read Shades of Fifty Shades of Grey? I have not. Have you? I have not read it. I, I think know. I have to read it. Because it uh, it's involves a lot of bondage, right? I mean, that's, that's the... That's what I hear. That's the... That's not this woman, is it? No, no. This is, oh, okay. <laughs> By the way, this is not a woman. This is a man. Okay? Oh, okay. A man. As a guy... A guidance counselor is the person who helps you write your college essay. The guidance counselor sits you down and says, this is what you... This is your path in life. This is how you need to map out your life to be successful. You know what? The only difference between him, I think, probably so many others, is that he happens to have a hobby where you express your inner weirdness. Right. Because, of course, teachers are just people, as are priests, as are... There's so many professions where I think you don't allow people the humanity. So you're saying this is healthy for him to do this, probably. I'm not saying it's healthy. I'm saying he just got caught. He just yeah. got to, we'll we'll yeah. get into that. Okay, yeah. his name is Brian Craig. Two which, first names. Anytime you got the two first names. Pick a name, dude. Are you Take Brian or are you Craig? Who you are, are smart you? enough to be Ian Roberts. If you were Ian Robert, yeah. that, that would, would be been, weird. That would have been strange. I feel like on the book, if you have two That is your names, real name, by the way, correct? That is my real name. Born and raised, Ian yes. Roberts. All right. Ian Michael Roberts. Ian Michael Roberts. Yeah. <laughs> Ian Michael Roberts sounds like the guy who came in and then remixed all the Beatles albums. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it was sounding pretty good, and then we brought in Ian, Ian Michael, Michael Roberts. Roberts. <laughs> no, but... Uh, or he also could seem like Michael Ian Black's, like, nemesis. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Ian Michael <laughs> Roberts. Let's start something right Can now. Can we start a feud with Michael Ian Black? <laughs> Ian, all right, let's do it. <laughs> he was game. In a second, Ian Roberts was game. <laughs> I just want to say, well, let's let's get it. It's Michael Ian Black. You're on notice, buddy. We are, Ian Michael Roberts blast. is here. I feel like if you wrote the book and you know you're going to write a sexually explicit book, you could have gone with Craig Bryan. You know, and just switched it around and no flipped one, your name and no one would have known. Nobody would have known. It's here like you're. It's it's not like you're posing nude. Okay, you just, you have, it's just your name. On it. May, I mean, maybe the jacket cover you could have like gone with a scruffy beard or something like that, or photo not available. I, like. I, but why the desire to write this book? I mean, it just, to me, seems like... It, by the way, it was not just a sexually explicit book. It was written as a self-help guide for women. And it's called... Are you ready for this? It's Her Fault. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That is what... That is the proper response <laughs> title. It's Her Fault. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that Brian Craig is the type of guy who blames the victim a lot. Yes. So it's, yes. Not, uh, it's not fictional. No, it's not fiction. Self-help book... It's called her. It's her fault. It's her fault. I know. Let me say this. I know a lot of women that would rush to pick up a book, a self-help book called "It's Her Fault," because that's what women love. They love (laughs) to be told you're married. Yeah. Your wife loves to be told that it's her fault for things, right? She loves it when you're like, "Yeah, that was your fault." Makes her feel liberated. (laughs) Yes, that's that's correct. (laughs) Number one, it's your fault. And and also, you know, if it's not for women, if it's for if there's one thing rapists love, it's reading. Rapists love to read. So there you go. There's that. And reading books. Eleven ninety five on Amazon, by the way. If you do want to pick it up, use the link on our. Scarborough page. Page, page because we will get a little bit 44 pages what if, what if your podcast is responsible for the book really taking off <laughs> I would be miserable I would be make so me very sad although I know a lot of people would probably want are, people are going to say they bought it and take pictures of it and if our money if our podcast makes a little money I would feel upset don't use our link no we'll donate that money to it 44 show. pages long does that qualify as like a pamphlet that can't be considered a self help yeah that's, that's right? like a track that's the kind of stuff that starts revolutions and, uh, <laughs> right 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 it's usually uh, yeah, and, manifesto yeah uh, anti-Semitic tracks. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's not normal. That's not a normal book. If that's a, a maniac who has a half-formed idea. That's right. That's right. If your book has less pages than an Us Weekly, it's not a book. That's right. not a book. Yeah. yeah. It's not a book. If your book is lighter than the instructions for your new toaster, that's not a book. Right? If you can write it during eight trips to the bathroom, it's not that's a book. That's not a book. That's not a book. That's a book. If blanche. your book is called It's Her Fault, it's not it's a book. It's not a book. That's a book that it is. is. It's a fundamental blanche. All right. Uh, the book itself, amazing. Sexually graphic, misogynistic, 
Corolla would be like, tone it down. Even he would say, this is a little too. And we've had him on the show, and, and we took heat for that. I don't care. Was it an e-book, by the way? Uh, that is, I wonder if it is an e-book. I would guess it is. I think there's probably way more nutty books published now that you don't have to do, make much effort. It doesn't I think cost so. a lot, too. Didn't someone say who we had on the show that they wrote like like a sort of shortened version of a novel? Is that what you're talking about, an e-book? There, there, there's like some novels that are like shorter. You're saying like just online. You can just, just online, online, you know, like, like the... It's like a word processing document. Yeah, because people can self-publish. You can right. put yourself on Amazon. I bet that's really what... I doubt, I doubt Penguin Books is putting this out. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Or Mark's Press. Simon and Schuster just <laughs> developed... Or it's like uh, Xeroxed and stapled. I mean, it, it's much better for nuts nowadays. It is. Because you would have had to have, you know... Nuts have so many more options. Yeah. Though. By the way, it's her fault does seem like it could be the prequel to The Devil Wears Prada. I'm just saying that. It's her fault. I'm just saying that. I love that he's calling it a self-help book. Let's Here, do some quotes. Here's some book. quotes fantastic. from the book. And remember, this guy coaches high school girls basketball. Okay? What? Unsupervised. I feel like this guy runs high school girls in layup drills. All right? Just understand just that. Just know that. Give that in your mind. Quote, Have that your mind. quote number one. Give, give him oral sex without making the ugh face. That's in I, the book. I don't disagree. That's it. <laughs> We're on board with him already. Yeah. Come on, Dave. I feel like that. But, but, but the, you uh, are supposed to write what you know, but that fe I feel like he's gotten that face a lot. Has he gotten yeah. that face a lot, though? Apparently. Okay. Yeah, that says more like, about him than anybody else. I, I guess you write what you know. Nice. I look, you know, I feel like he might have been able to get the I'm going to be embarrassed. I'm going to stay honest during this, and we'll see how stay I'm going to stay honest. Stay honest. see how much I stay with let's him. See, he, let's see how on board he can stay, and, and he's being totally truthful. Quote number two I still have a weakness for cleavage and camel toe. I can't, I'm not on board. I only have a weakness for cleavage. Okay, so, right, so the camel toe, not on board. But, but again, no. self-help book, who is that helping? He still has a weakness. He like, still has who a weakness. Who does that help? He's telling, I suppose he'd be telling women that it would be... It'd be Advantageous. To ex expose the that. The camel toe is probably what's missing from his worldview. Right. Because he's <laughs> probably, getting getting a, probably getting the cleavage. He's getting a dose of the cleavage, that. but he'd like a little but more he's of saying, the camel what is, toe. what's happening that some guys are doing Quote, quote three, and this may be the best quote of all. Latin women's vaginal walls are much warmer. No, that's, I just don't. Think that's, that's not true. true. No. That can't possibly be true. No. Can it be right? I know Louis no, C.K. has a bit about this, but it. they do. But like, not in Louis C.K.'s bit wasn't about Latin no. women's vaginal walls, but his bit was like, if you have something nice to say about a group of people, can that be racist? And I think that is a good question to ask mm -hmm. here because he's kind of complimenting Latin women on some level. Yeah, it can because, uh, yeah, I think it can be racist. Aren't because like, don't some people say racist things about African Americans related to sports that supposedly would be good? This makes you good, but then it takes away the hard work. Right. It yes. says that you have extra money. And, 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 and so I'd say Latin women that's all racist. over the place. It is because Latin women all over the place we know spend a lot of time warming the walls of their vaginas. Right. And if you're gonna if you're gonna <laughs> cut that work it takes out, away the hard work. Yes. To just say the genetically endowed with it. <laughs> yes. I mean wrapping you know <laughs> wrapping a, a a hair iron in a towel and inserting it into yourself to is just a, a lot, lot of effort. Walls. Yes. A lot of effort. It takes time. It takes they, effort. It takes yeah. ingenuity. And we don't it want to wipe electricity. Up. What, what really economy. gets me is the first person to ever try it because they're like Edison or you know it's like wow. <laughs> Wow, what made you think of this? <laughs> That's a vaginal wall warming pioneer. Yeah, it's almost, but he's treating it almost like like heated toilet seats or like heated bathroom floors. Like, thank you for that luxury. But it's the worst feeling like to slip it in and have it not be warm. The, the title of the book again it's is her fault. It's her fault. So yeah, again, this so this one sharing this fact, <laughs> it doesn't help anybody. It's just informational. It's so not really. But I'm what not, it, what is her fault about? Is this is hope that like all women will draw from this and be like, well, we better warm these things up if you want to catch. Up with Latin or that man. to do your daughter a favor, you should breed with a Latino man. Yes. Maybe. So your daughter will have, a have warmer what you vagina. lack. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's like a nice pat on the back for the Latino women. Yeah. And for the rest of you, it's saying you get need on to the get stick. some blood. Get on the stick. Get some Latino blood. That's right. Going to heat that wall up. Yeah. In the foreword of the book, he may, I love that the book has a foreword. He even does, it, for does it have acknowledgments? <laughs> it does. Lots of footnotes. <laughs> In the foreword of the book. bibliography. Two epilogues. I don't know why. Two <laughs> epilogues. He mentions that he's qualified to write this book because of his experience being surrounded by women. Oh no, those are the those are his his well his he's charges. All, he's oh, his, oh, yeah. the basketball <laughs> team. <laughs> the basketball that team goes in the police the, report. The, the, the forward goes oh, in the police no. report. I don't know. Is that how he knows about no, the Latino? No, one? it comes from his part-time job as a bouncer at a strip club.
Seriously, nobody looked at this guy's record to be like, you're going to be our guidance counselor and our girls' basketball coach. He also is a bouncer at a strip club. But it's fantastic. actually is somewhat of a relief. I, I saw that there was a little bit of relief in your eyes going, that wasn't the basketball team. He's not talking about the girls. Yeah, all things being equal. You're yeah. like, oh, those women, thank God. And I sincerely hope he was talking about the strip club Specifically with the Latin coaching, maybe is that where he's from? Maybe he, maybe he's a bouncer at a Latin strip club. I I'm know. assuming there's no disclosure whatsoever with the parents. Like he has not told them what he does. Because I have two daughters, and I mean, if, if parents knew what he did or what he wrote, and they still had their girls on the team, it's like the parents who dropped the kids off at Michael Jackson's house after we all sort of knew what was after going he on. had been alleged to yeah. that they're like it's like the person who pushes someone else in front of a car so he can get the insurance money. Yeah, that's what it feels like. That's what's happening. It's a sad or the thing. woman who sat down on the on the uh, on bench. the hot seats. There was a black marble bench outside of uh, Cowboy Stadium. That mm -hmm. in Texas heat, a black marble bench. This she, woman sat on it. Burned herself. Third degree burns. Now you got to be sitting there for a while. I was pants. just at the um, San Diego Zoo, and they had warnings on their little uh, metal monkeys you can climb on that they could burn you. They could burn you. Yeah. Because you know they've been burned by not having the signs before. That's yes. why they've got You don't it. want to get burned by something that can burn some other people. Yeah. That's right. But she got third degree burn. She must have been drunk and passed out. That's what I think. Or she, she must have been like, here's how I'm going to make my money. This is how we're going to do it. Right stay here and take it. Mommy's going to have burned It might have thighs. been a protest. Maybe she was. it was a political statement. Maybe. Like, against the Cowboys? Yeah, like the guys that set, you know, monks that set themselves on fire. She That's set her right. ass down. She yeah. set her ass on fire Horrible. as a political statement. Yeah. That's right. All right, three more crazy quotes. And I'm just going to wait for this to appear on Oprah's book club. All right, number one, the easiest kill for a man is through the young lady with low self-esteem. Basketball coach, guidance counselor. All right. Easy. Kill. Easiest a kill. kill being like, is that? I don't think he's talking about killing somebody. I think he's talking story. about sex. But yeah. it's always good to uh, so put sexual, yeah, yeah, sexuality. Put it in terms of, of murder. But I love that he's a basketball coach and he couldn't like figure out a basketball metaphor. You know, yeah. the easiest three point shot. Yeah, you, know is, you know what? You know yeah, what's a layup? You know what's a layup? A layup. A la the easiest layup in the game. Uncontested layup. <laughs> low, a girl with low self esteem. Apparently, this guy's not coaching. You don't want to double dribble on the situation, right. but that's it. He also says women need to submit to their men. Just let let him turn you every which way. I feel like even did they say let let is him? Is that there? Yes. Yeah. Let, let, let him, him turn, turn you every which way. way. I feel like even Todd Aiken would be like he he's That's have a problem with that. Like, yeah. come on, let's come on. respect our women a little more. Strippers are women who have their mindset in the right place. Yeah, that's, by the way, every, what I've thought every time I've stepped into a strip club. The many times I've been into a strip club. These are some mentally healthy women right here. Right? They've got it going on in the right spot. There's some healthy people over here. There's, There's a lot, lot of people who are in their A option in life. They're not They're not dropping down to the B option. Including the midget with the top hat. Who's, who's barking on the corner. corner. Yes. You, yeah. always, you always hear it in relationships, uh, don't you? Honey, uh, why can't you have more of a stripper mindset? <laughs> yes. In, in, in marriages. Or yes. in the workplace. Guys, yes. get on the pole. Ladies, that presentation and the client is in tw in two hours. If we are not thinking like strippers, we're not maximizing our potential here at Edutech, and I feel like we need to get on the stick. That Edutech, oh, excuse me, get on the pole. Get on the pole. Get on the pole. It's not get on the stick. Edutech from Cheap Seats. In his mind, he wrote a 44-page masterpiece. This was his great Gatsby, I feel like. He was like, this is my masterpiece. Or like chicken soup for the Latin vagina. He never <laughs> Maybe it's a cry for help, and it was a confession. You I, think so? Just a guy who's like, I want to get caught. I need to, I need to get away from these... I need the Thoughts? money, but I shouldn't be teaching here. I made a mistake. The degree I got was inappropriate. Before I touch someone inappropriately, get me out. Yeah. I'm going to write this book. Yeah, it was basically he was hoping to be found out. If he's that, he's a genius. Yes. I don't think he's that. But I, I part of me hopes that he is because it gives hope to like a world where I can't I, understand. I, see, I feel like it's the other way. I feel like he thinks he wrote a great book and wants everyone to know it. Like He'd be like, okay, guys, great practice. I wrote a book. If you want to uh, bring it back to your mom, you can just uh, take it home to your mom. And remember, if she doesn't like it, it's her fault. Right. Yeah, it's fascinating because he either thought no one's going to see this, which is a little crazy, but crazier that he didn't mind and thought that nobody would care. care. That he Exactly. That's, I feel like you write that. Or, or that he's trying to do something good for the women of the world. Hey, I'm trying to show you guys how to be better gals. You know what's funny? If he believes that, then he would angrily argue his point. Yeah. <laughs> and he would see it through to the Supreme Court because, because if he really feels this in his heart, <laughs> yes. he did say set out to be vilified and think I want everyone to know I'm an awful human being and he'd right. just go can't you see this let me read you another page <laughs> you are incriminating yourself <laughs> sir please sir. get an attorney to represent you no, no I no. insist let me I just know go. I can sway I'm, the jury if let I him just turn read. you any which way do you not understand how important that is <laughs> let him make the turn I love it great first story love that yes uh, second story
story is one, and you should know this when when talking about our show and knowing about our show. We are your number one news source for breaking stories related to the Philly Fanatic or the Phoenix Gorilla. Okay. All mascots. If really. a story involves either of these entities, we will be there to make fun. And we've got Gorilla News. This we week. got Gorilla News. Actually, if there's any Scarborough Country listeners in Phoenix right now, in the area right now, you have to apply for this job. For us. Like, you gotta apply for it. The Steve nash Phoenix Suns have put out a job listing, a job posting for <clears throat> the Phoenix Gorilla. And did it go on Monster.com? I don't know. I guess if it was a fanatic, then it would go on Monster.com. Right, but I think it's gorilla. a gorilla.org that you... I don't think so. I don't right. know what you could do to get fired as the Phoenix Gorilla. Right, I could see. I could see them share with me a few of his duties, like jumps off trampoline. Yes, yes. Dunks, jumps on dunks, balls dunks that. balls. Yep, you're you're on it. Makes fun of bald people in the crowd. I could see of... them saying, "We got times are tough. The Suns haven't won a lot recently. We're downsizing to a bonobo." You know what I mean? To We're a chimpanzee, gonna... bonobo. Better fitting. I could play. imagine age getting in the way. Yeah, but age might <laughs> get in the way. <laughs> Aging gorilla. Mike is... I, I bet you can't though. He'd really have to just. You couldn't pick the age. He'd have to start failing because you can't do that with a you know a flight attendant. <laughs> right. You can't say like you got to be sexy. So right. You couldn't say you have to be young, but the fact of the matter is maybe once with... you can't dunk. But without him knowing, maybe if they wanted him out, they would just move that tramp back like yeah. a few inches. He doesn't know. Well, they and then... take they take two of the metal springs off it, so it's got a little <laughs> less bounce. Can do now. It's like why am I? I'm just not sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm just hitting the front of the rib. It's but here's sad. the thing. If you spent a long time being the Phoenix Gorilla, what skills do you have? Like, where do you go from there if you get axed as the Phoenix Gorilla? I feel like you're Chuck E. Cheese. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. That's it. I didn't it's even know birthday party. You know what? It's one of the best costume gigs. Because most costume gigs, you have to stand around, not talk, and not move. Because they really want... Yeah. They don't want you to bring anything of yourself to it. Because right. they don't want you to get in the way of the... Like, I mean, nobody does less than a Disney character. I don't know. They do very little. By the way, I just learned the main difference. I, I, I just learned this. The main difference, uh, and I told this to Randy, between monkeys and gorillas. Do you know the main difference? I did not know this. No. Oh, oh tails. Yeah, monkey has yeah. a tail. Yeah. And All apes. Apes have no tails. And, uh, and gorillas have tails. And gorillas hate juice. So That's there you go. That. Those are the two <laughs> things. Monkeys have tails. Gorillas hate juice. juice yeah, I actually know that because of some kid's song that my daughter had. Where it's something about it. I said monkeys have tails yes. and apes don't. And apes don't. I just learned that. Just learned that. I want, I'm going to read a little bit of the Phoenix job listing here. Do uh, it, please. Be, here's what it states: Be a world-class performer, an ambassador for the Phoenix Suns organization, both on the court and at appearances in parentheses charities, schools, hospitals, local businesses, etc. I feel like after hospitals, local businesses, schools, and charities, is the et cetera, and that's it? Like, how many other yeah. things are you doing? Yeah, you're almost Does that covered. encompass everything? Like, if you said on air, sea, and land, you wouldn't say et cetera. Right. <laughs> you're, you covered it. Yeah. You covered it. I guess they just didn't want to put bar mitzvahs on there because yeah. gorillas hate Jews. That's that. We've established that already, and now that's why they don't want to put it there. Also in the job. By the way, world-class performer... I, I would almost think most world class performers wouldn't be willing to put on the gorilla mask. If you're <laughs> if you're at that level, if you're world, you're world class, class, you want them to see your face. Yeah, and the eyes are the windows to the soul. Doesn't a world class yes. performer have to share their soul? You with should the be in Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, I think I, it's unlikely they're going to get a world class. I've I always agree. thought about that with the phrase world class speed, because you could be to say that you have world class speed, you could lose every single race. But I mean, it's not saying you don't have world class speed. It's just saying you're not. You're not saying you're a champion. Yeah. So maybe this is just like you have the ability to perform on that level, but you're just don't. You're not. Yes. Yeah, you're you're not. an underachiever. That's right. Also in the job description, it continues. Uh, continue the great gorilla go tradition in quotes, which I don't know what that means. Of making people smile, leaving them with long lasting positive memories, and representing the team with pride and passion. Do you happen to know how long the gorilla has been in existence? Because I say the long, the proud tradition. I it's think been there for a while. I, I don't know the exact definitely time. Definitely since the 80s. I definitely uh, want to say since the 80s. Is that the tradition? Thing? Yeah, 30 years, right? 25 years. I sometimes wonder what places like businesses established share, 2002 share, yeah don't yeah. share that date <laughs> yeah always, always wait 30 years till you share the date of your uh yeah established inception. 96 doesn't impress me no does not There's impress not enough people. time that the people may die of your services in the next 10 years yeah yes yes all right this is a full-time salary position reporting to our vice president uh, of game entertainment here's my opinion do you have to report to those meetings in the full gorilla costume 
I think you do. I think you do. Right? right? There's no and choice as well. I'm amazed. There's a vice president. How many positions are there? In so many. Entertainment so movie? many. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not the, the real organ. It's not the sports side. No. Of it. It's just it's the entertainment division. And how many other arms in the entertainment besides the gorilla? There it is. seems like that would be it. Uh, maybe cheerleaders fall cheerleaders under Cheerleaders, they would fall under that. You're right. They would. Maybe, maybe like, like energetic uh, janitors. You think one guy could cover like all that, the, though? Like, I feel like yeah, one probably, or two guys could need cover a, all that. A secretary and a president, <laughs> a vice president, <laughs> and a, a secretary. I'm a JVP. I'm a junior vice president of the entertainment division. I'm working division. my way up the ladder. I just love that a gorilla has to report to anybody, just like in the wild, right? Yeah. Yes. Most yes. Gorillas have well, he interfaces pretty high up the chain, too. He, <laughs> so he, <laughs> he deals with the VP. He's just an employee. <laughs> yes. That's like the guy on the factory floor, like, you're going to you fold boxes, report directly to the VP and go right out. <laughs> Marketing. Yes. Go right up to the thing. Here's some of the job requirements and responsibilities. Uh, perform at the Phoenix Suns home games, select community.